When I was asked to speak with Mitt Romney, it seemed like a very important thing to me and I wanted to put a lot of careful thought into what I would say. So I went to the roundtable discussion, very optimistic and interested in hearing what he had to say. When he sat down, one of the first questions he asked was, uh, he said, I understand there's a teacher here today, which one of you is the teacher? So I raised my hand thinking, well, that's a good thing. He's interested in education, but it wasn't a good thing. I, I felt like his view was a little old-fashioned. I was surprised by it. He went on to kind of lecture me about schools and how bad they are. He talked bad about the teachers union. He was talking about the importance of private schools and voucher systems. At one point I said to him, I have an answer for that. And he said, I didn't ask you a question. When I think of Mitt Romney, I don't think of a person that could really relate to small town Craig, Colorado. Although he came here, I, I don't think that his life experience would allow him to really understand the perspective of people that live in a small town. One of the things that I like best that Obama has done for education is that he is releasing states from No Child Left Behind. Colorado is one of the states that's been lucky enough to be released. I did not become a teacher to become wealthy or powerful. I became a teacher to make a difference. It's important to us to have a government and a leader that respects us that will listen to us, even if he doesn't agree with us. He need, we need to have an open conversation, an open communication between educators and government. And I think President Obama is the one to do that.